Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Journey to Happiness. Um, so I think I'm going to vlog today. Um, I am a CNA, which stands for Certified Nursing Assistant. Um, I've been a CNA for nine years now, way too long. I'm also a med aide too, and a med tech, but I mainly work as a CNA. Um, I work as a med aide sometimes, but CNAs are needed more I guess so that's why I work as a CNA more than a med aid because it's more job opportunities I guess you could say but I do work as a med aid um too um so yeah being a CNA is not something I plan on doing for the rest of my life honestly I should have been done something else but I'll talk about that in another video but I mainly work 3 to 11 um I work I now mainly work through agencies um because of the simple fact that agencies pay more and with agency you pretty much can make your own schedule um so that's why um before I was working through agencies like I was getting I was not getting paid barely anything for the work that I do as a CNA but I cannot be a CNA for much longer um, for those of you for those of you that don't know being a CNA is very um, hard physical work you're lifting patients turning them and it's kind of it's dirty work too it's kind of like the work that nobody really wants to do it's the work that the nurse doesn't want to do that's why they invented nursing assistants honestly <laughs> um, but it, for now it's a job it's a stable job I, um, that's why I said in my other video I'll never go without a job because nursing homes are always hiring because CNAs are needed 24-7 and a lot of people are always quitting nursing homes because of how hard the CNA work is it's, it's very I mean very stressful and hard but yes yeah, about 1 30 um, I've been going to the same nursing home for about four months now through an agency, but I decided um, at the end of this month, I'm not going to go back. I think I've gotten too comfortable there, and I don't know, I'm just not going to go back. And um, I'm actually going to start doing home care again. Um, CNAs can also do home care. Basically, you go to a patient's house and you take care of them at their home. Normally home care um, is a lot easier because you only have one patient and normally the patient is at least somewhat stable. Um, most of the time in home care, that's why they're home because they can do a lot for themselves. Sometimes with home care you might do, you do light housekeeping. They may need help getting dressed. They may still need help going to the bathroom, but it's, it's normally patients that are mobile you know they can walk or that they're at least able to stand home care is a lot um less stressful however with my experience home care doesn't pay as much um but i guess that's why so i'm gonna do home care and i'm still gonna work in a nursing home prn um so i can have that income too but i'm going to be doing home care a lot more um, I'm not going to be working at a nursing home pretty much full time like I am now I'm doing a lot of rambling and talking I don't know if this is really going to be a vlog or not um, what else I work second shift a lot I y'all second shift sucks um, the hours are from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. and it's like with second shift you, you do not have a life you don't have time or anything um, especially when you if you're like me you have to make like a 30 minute drive and like I said the only reason I I do that is because I work through an agency and that's where they need people in, in this particular city and it does pay um, more um, but oh, second shift it's like you come home by the time you come home nothing's open nothing's going on you go to bed by the time you blink your eye for one second, it's time to go back to work. Like, that's how you feel 
working second shift all the time. But first shift is just so freaking busy. It's like you got to be a certain type of CNA to work first shifts all the time. First shift is like, oh my God. Third shift, um, I guess people would say that's the easiest one. Because you just do your rounds. You might have a few people that you have to get up because they might have a doctor's appointment or they're just on the get up list. Um, so third shift is not that bad too. Um, what else? So yeah, I'm going to do home care and I'm actually going to go on with this other agency because they actually uh, pay more than the agency that I'm with now and plus they pay every week. The agency that I'm with now, most uh, agencies, they pay once a week. Some even do next day pay where you get paid the next day. But the one that i am been working with for like five months now, they're the only ones that pay every two weeks. Um, so I want to get started getting paid every week, you know, like everybody else that does agency. So this, um, I'm with another company. Um, maybe when I'm no longer working with this agency, I will give out their name. So in case if there's any CNAs out there um, that's interested in working for them, because it's not a bad agency overall. It's just, um, I'm ready for something else pretty much. So I think when I'm no longer working for them, I'll reveal the name just in case there's somebody watching that may want to work for them. Um, yeah, I'm, so this is not going to be a vlog. I'm just rambling on. But I want to make this a video um, so I have something to look back on. I will say, if there's anybody out there thinking about becoming a CNA, um, I made a detailed video about this on my other channel, Life of JD. You can check it out if you want to. And I'll honestly, I don't become a CNA. Do, do not become a CNA. It is hard. I mean, it's crucial physically, physical hard work. Um, if you want to become a nurse, you know, in North Carolina, you have to take the CNA class before you get into the nursing program, I think. So, yeah, take the class if you want to become a nurse, if you have if you have to. But do not become a CNA. You get, in a lot of places, CNAs are not really treated that good. Um, we're considered, like, at the bottom of the health field. You got, like, CNAs, nurses, doctors, everything in between. But CNAs are at the bottom. We do the most work, but we treat it like we basically are servants. And it's just, it's a hard job. You have to clean up bowel movement over and over again. That's what you're going to be doing on your shift. And the nurses are not going to help you because um, they don't have to. The main thing they do is pass out medicine. And I'm just keeping it real at a nursing home. Now, I'm speaking from a nursing home perspective. Cause I, that's all I've worked. I've done nursing home and done home care. With home care, I don't have to work with a nurse because I'm just there by myself with the patient. Don't become a CNA. Um, I'm telling you, you don't want to do this hard work. I wish I would have listened to my grandma. My grandma, she was never a CNA, but I remember when I was about to graduate high school and I was going to apply for nurse like the prerequisites for the nursing classes and um when I found out I could get a job I didn't even know there was a such thing as a CNA back then but the lady at the college was telling me that yeah you could take this uh three month class you have to take it anyway before you get into nursing school you don't have to work as a CNA for nursing school you just have to take the class um and she was like, yeah, uh, they want you to know how to put people on bed hands, the toilet people do this, the vital signs. And, he, and I was like, oh, wow, I can get a job after the class? Yeah, you can get a job. And the class is only three months. So that's the way I was looking at it. Boy, I wish I never talked to that woman. And my grandma was like, no, don't do that. You're not going to like that kind of work, you know. And she even said something that kind of hurt my feelings. She was like, so that's what you went to school for? You went to school 12 years to wipe other people's shit? And I thought, at the time, I thought my grandma was being a hater. I'm like, you just hating on me because I'm going to get me a job as a nursing assistant and the class is only three months. But now that I think about it, she was telling the truth. This job, I'll make a more detailed video because this video is already uh, running at 10 minutes almost. 
so yeah i'm just keeping like i said on this channel i'm going to be blunt i'm going to keep it real so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video bye